So your color will have six colors, right? Very simple. Now you want to fill up the rest. So you start with the primary color, not the secondary, okay? Remember, you always, the, the primary colors go first. So I click on yellow. Between yellow and orange, I would get yellow orange, right? And it turned 30 degree only, right? So I'm gonna make a copy first. And it's clockwise, so I do minus 30 because on the right side of yellow, and I make a copy, and I'm gonna look for a color on the field box, and I look vaguely, just something that give me yellow orange, okay? Now, this is tricky, the, the, uh, so you're gonna do it, um, the best guest, the best guess, okay? Now, if you cannot find anything uh, substantially look like yellow orange, some yellow and some orange, let's just pick one. Let's say pick this one, okay? That's too orange and not enough yellow. Let's say you pick this one, okay? That's less orange, right? Let's say that's the that's the closest you can come up with. And trust me, we can we can enhance this. And then we just want to fill everything in for now. So this yellow orange, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange. Uh not yellow orange. As long as it's more yellow than the orange you pick, right? And then and then we go from this way we do yellow green right so little yellow on the green so you click on this and then you go counterclockwise now you go to positive number you double click on the rotation tool and you give it 30 and you make a copy and then you uh, select it and you look in this list so anything that look a little bit green, but also a little bit yellow. How about this one? That looks pretty okay for now, right? Um, we can we can correct, we can make it really close later. See that? So that is yellow, orange, and yellow, green. Now you go to the next primary colors, blue. So between blue and or on green, you will pick blue, green. A little bit of blue and a little bit of green. So you take blue, you select blue, and you're gonna go clockwise. So that's minus 30, right? So you double click on the rotation tool, double click, and then you go minus 30. And then you click copy, and then you will turn this color into less blue and more green. So if you look on the field list, uh, let's see, maybe this one, okay, or this one, you see, less blue, more green. This may be it, okay. I'm right, pretty close enough to uh, to put it in color wheel for now. You see that? Now, we're gonna click on the blue again, and we go counterclockwise toward the violet. So it'll be, uh, blue violet a little bit of violet a little bit of blue and we go counterclockwise so 30 degree right counterclockwise so we double click and do 30 degree and we make a copy and this time we want to pick something that has a little bit of violet and a little bit of blue so we're gonna go here and see if what we can have so a little bit of violet a little bit of blue maybe this one yeah a little bit of violet a little bit of blue so we're gonna move this one into it pos its position. You see, a little bit of violet, a little bit of blue. Beautiful. Okay. Then deselect, right? And then uh, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on rest. So rest go two direction. Go counterclockwise for red orange. Go clockwise for red violet. Simple as that, right? Here you go. You're gonna make a copy, and then you go. Uh, uh, you go. You go positive thirty for red orange. So copy. 
see that now you're gonna go in here uh not orange not red uh but red orange uh it's gonna be tricky right because this orange this yellow orange red orange is this one no uh is this one no because it look exactly like that right so if you don't see the red orange you want red orange is pretty tricky right let's just put it in here and then we deal with it later let's say close enough they look exactly the same see that maybe i think i think this should be red this should be this and this should be that so we're gonna reverse it if you see something like that you say oh i messed it up so this one should be down here right so you click on that and you see right here see you're gonna change it you're gonna click here and you pick this one okay and you go here and you pick the one that uh that see that so more orange let red you see red less red less red orange see the last one is red violet this should be simple enough yeah so we're gonna uh, we're gonna pick the all always start with the primary and we go clockwise which is minus 30 degree so we double click we do minus 30 and we make a copy okay and we change the color to red and violet so red and violet so this one or this one oh that doesn't look right all right so let's say this one red there's red and that violet beautiful okay now deselect now this is very important so pay attention after you finish and you happy with your color wheel happy you can select everything by draw a marquee we call it draw marquee because you draw anything with selection tool we call it draw marquee and make sure let me let me deselect and do it again you draw select selection tool draw a marquee over you see now you want to group them all together so when you move only your color will move not any individual section and remember there's no stroke okay there's no stroke so make sure you turn all, off your stroke and then you can go to object you can group them see that wow look at that so we clean it up so after you group them look I can only move the color. Another thing you will do for me is you will hide all your template. Okay. So you can move your color wheel out here and you um un and unlock everything. Go to object, unlock all. Okay. And you can group this together because they template, right? You can group them. Object, group. So the template will stay with the template. See that? You can, and then you hide them. So you go object, hide, selection. You don't need them anymore. You hide them. They're still there. You just don't want to show them. And then you move your color wheel inside uh, the uh, the paper. And here's the tricky part. I want it in in the center horizontally horizontally so if you pull out the pro uh, property property window you look at the center this is center you look at the coordinates right so let's start with three and three right in the center three and three now it's right in the center right but you want to be able to label your work so you're gonna push it down vertically more so you're gonna increase the x so x start at zero from the top right oh y you increase the y so the y instead of going three let's go to four just like math right four is too much let's go three and a half so what you're doing is you put the center at three for x and three and a half for y and deselect you give length of space to do label which is will be part 
six. Okay. Now you're gonna go and save five. Save. Make sure you save everything. Because up to this point, if you don't save it, you lose everything, right? So I'm going to stop sharing.